Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, here in Japan, and I am witnessing firsthand the astonishing Shinto revival that's going on throughout the nation. Japan, in many respects, is a nation of shrines and temples. Tens of thousands of them ornament the country's landscapes, and they're currently going through an extraordinary nationalist renewal. In fact, many believe that imperial Shintoism is more popular today, particularly at the highest levels of the Japanese government, than it's been since World War II. If you don't know, Shinto is the indigenous faith of Japan. It dates back to ancient times and has no explicit creed or major religious texts. Its followers worship kami. Those are gods believed to reside in both living and inanimate objects. And the faith emphasizes respect for the ancestors and a deep reverence for the sanctity of nature and indeed the nation of Japan itself. We have to remember that for the Japanese, heaven is not found in some other dimension or world. For the Japanese, Japan is heaven. The realm of the gods intersect in and through the natural world, and shrines provide the place where humans can commune with the gods and receive their blessing. Those of you who are familiar with the biblical tradition of the Israelite tabernacle or Solomon's temple will find extraordinary parallels with the Shinto shrine. Here I'm visiting Tsurugaoka Shrine, the most important Shinto shrine in Kamakura. For over a thousand years, this is a shrine that's invited all into an extraordinary and mystical journey. The journey begins by passing through what's called a tori, or a wooden gate, that's become one of the most iconic emblems of Japanese culture. It's often painted bright red, and it's a gateway that demarcates the boundary between the sacred space of the shrine and ordinary, mundane, or even profane space. Tori demarcate a place in nature where the gods have been encountered by Japanese ancestors. And as we walk through the gate, you'll immediately notice to the left a special place for ritual washing known as Chozuya. Shinto places an extraordinary emphasis on purification, which of course is the source of Japanese culture's most prominent feature, which is uh, one of cleanliness. After washing in the sacred waters, we approach what's called the worship hall, where the Japanese gather to eat and drink in festivals for the gods. It's the place where you see, you know, hear musical offerings like the taiko drums are played, singing, dancing, a whole host of other festival activities. To the side, there's a place where prayers are written out and left for the gods, and then the grand stairway taking us to the sanctuary, Japan's version of the Holy of Holies, the place where Japanese ascend and come face to face with the gods. You'll note that the Japanese pray by bowing, clapping twice, which expresses their joy and respect to the god, offering their honorifics and requests for blessing on themselves and their families. It's really an astonishing scene because it's a scene that never ends. Every minute the shrine is open, a new tide of worshippers ascend the stairs and pray in the presence of the gods, and thus continuously renewal the social and cultural life of Japan. It's a scene that really destroys the notion that Japan is not a particularly religious country. In fact, you can't so much as build a doghouse in Japan without the land being blessed by a Shinto priest. Now, it's true that after World War II and the emperor's renunciation of his divine status, Shinto struggled to find its place in Japanese society. But all that's changed in the last several years. State Shinto is going through a very real revival, particularly noticeable in the Shinzo Abe government a few years back, which was one of the most nationalist governments in Japan's post-war history. Conservatives like Abe argued that Japan, after experiencing economic stagnation and rampant materialism, as well as the rise of Neo-Confucian China, Japan needs to reclaim its traditional values. In this sense, fostering the sense of patriotism and pride in one's own country is essential, noting that it's not only natural for people to have respect and pride in their own country, but it's actually essential for the protection and promotion of unique Japanese values and traditions. And at the heart of those values and traditions in Japan is its Shinto faith and practices. And if what I saw was any indicator in the future of Japan's patriotism and its revitalization of culture and civilization is bright indeed.